potentially the greatest subway system in the world. Not exaggerating. You saw the thumbnail. Obviously, we would think about Tokyo when we see the best subway in the world. The thing is, that's different here. It's much cheaper. 1,251 up to 10 kilometers. In Tokyo, 170 yen. It's like 1,851 just to get on the subway. It's incredible here. We've been here for two days and we're already like mind blown at the subway system. Uh, about 10 million people in Seoul and they have 728 subway stations. For context, uh, the city we're from, Toronto, has about 3 million people and 75 subway stations. So Seoul has about three times the population and about 10 times the subway stations. Absolutely incredible place. I mean, put it this way, the city has 10 million people and look around, where is everybody? Two days ago, we were in Hanoi, Vietnam, a city of 8 million people. So a city that's 20% smaller. And you would never see a street corner looking like this. It's so much more organized. We could put a montage together, a 20 minute montage, just of how crazy the streets of Hanoi are. And this is a, this is a city of 10 million. This is a bigger city than Hanoi. And there's nobody around. So where is everybody? Everybody is underground. 728 subway stations and hundreds of kilometers of pathways underneath the ground. It really feels like every road has a corresponding train, every highway has a corresponding express train, every sidewalk has a corresponding pathway underground that you can walk through. So we've been here two days and we're already like mind blown. We have to show you guys this subway. So when we first got here, we immediately got our T money card. These are little cards cost you 4,000 won, but it's a deposit, which means once you're finished and you're leaving Seoul or you're leaving Korea, you can return the card for a 100% refund. You get the card 4,000 won, you charge it up wirelessly, you place it on the platform and it charges like magic. And now you're able to get on the subway. These team money cards also work at like 7-Eleven and some convenience stores. They work for taxis, but the main purpose of them is the subway. So here we are, we're entering the subway now. We've got seven stops to go today. So we're gonna beep in like this. Beep. 12.50 to enter, that's for up, up to 12, up to 10 kilometers. We're taking line four. There are nine lines. There are circular lines that go in a loop. There are tons of diagonal lines. And here's all the people. That's why the streets are so empty. So now we're one layer underground. Then we go down again. Because of course, the, the station we're entering on is a transfer station. It seems like every other station is a transfer station. Yeah, and they're easy to figure out. They're not that hard to figure out, even though they got like nine lines, but they're pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's color coded. You can figure it out pretty well. Look, here's all the people. The streets are empty. I've never seen a city of 10 million people with no one in the streets, but here's all the people. So now we're two layers underground. We're two stories underground, and there's still another one. So we're actually entering at a station that is a three transfer station, three line transfer station. What an incredible subway system. I know it's a totally old man crush to be in love with public transit, mm -hmm. but it's a really good indicator of how your city is doing, how your country is doing. I mean, the benefits of having a good subway system, it's like the air quality is way better. The time it takes to get from A to B is way better. The noise pollution, that's one thing we notice about cities with bad public transport. Everyone's just honking the scooter yeah. horn over and over again. Less traffic. Less traffic. Everything is more organized and they're always on time here. Always on time. Every subway stop has Wi-Fi, even Wi-Fi on the trains. It's free, it's high speed. Now, one thing about the trains is you can't really talk loudly on the trains. We're really not allowed. So I won't do much vlogging when we're on the train because, I mean, I'd have to whisper. Korean people are super reserved, really quiet, it's public, we're sharing the space, so don't be, you know, vlogging on the train, is obnoxious. So, next stop, on the train. Listen to how quiet it is. Probably 50 people in this train car. This map really gives you a good idea of how many transfer stations there are. I mean, sometimes there's three or four transfer stations in a row. It gives you a good idea of how many lines there are. This station here looks like there's four lines in one station, which means one of those trains is four stories below the ground. I mean, 
Where did they get the money to build all this stuff? Just amazing. <laughs> What do you know? We got off at another transfer station. So many lines. Now here's another amazing part about the subway network here in Seoul. <laughs> the exits and the pathways and the passageways and the underground tunnels are so many and so expansive that there's actually numbered exits at each stop. Yeah. So for our trip now, we need to get off of this station and look for exit two. Some of these exits, some of these exits are like kilometer and a half away wow. just long tunnels keep you out of the wind keep you out of the snow keep you out of the cold and you're just walking down a long tunnel for five or ten minutes until you get to your exit so looking for exit two exit one four and five this way exit two three and three dash one not sure what that means but exit two this way so how do you know which exit you're supposed to exit download the google map or the Naver map and when you put in the direction, it'll tell you which exits you're supposed to go to. Right, it's, it's part of the directions is yeah. which exit you go to because yeah. they're so far apart. The tunnels are so long. If you went to the wrong exit, you'd be a kilometer away from your That's destination. Right. Just amazing. So we're gonna exit the station now. You're supposed to... Beep your way out. So it should be zero to exit because right. we traveled less than 10 kilometers. Yes. Yeah, zero. Now, let's see how long our exit is. Hopefully, it's a good example of uh, these insane tunnels. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Flat elevator. Yeah, we're going to the National Museum of Korea, and they have this underground tunnel that connects the subway to the museum. I mean, oh. this, this flat elevator is like 200 meters long. They have underground tunnel everywhere, so you don't need to walk outside during the winter. Incredible. So you keep yourself warm. <laughs> and the tunnel is so large. The tunnels are huge. Yeah. Everywhere. The whole city is covered in tunnels. Here we go back up to go outside. As you can see, that whole tunnel was, I mean, 10 meters underground. Or something like that. So clean. So clean. No garbage. No garbage. No garbage. No garbage. It really feels like the entire city has another city underground. I mean, look around. This is a city of 10 million people. And it's just empty. Kids playing. Where is everybody? It's just so convenient for us to compare it to Vietnam, Hanoi. 8 million people in Hanoi, 20% less. And you would never have this place empty like this. Wow. So there you have it, guys. That concludes our public transportation wow impressed video. Mm -hmm. I know it's like an old man crush. It's like, why would I love public transport so much? But it really is a good indicator of how your city is doing or yeah. how your country is doing. It doesn't matter where you stay in Seoul. You can get to any other place so easily. It's so easy to reach by the subway. Absolutely. Yeah. Good point, Ivana. Okay, we're at the museum now. So maybe click up here for our vlog about the museum. And what else are we doing today? Uh, Myeongdong Market. Myeongdong Market. Museum and Market. Maybe yeah. available up there for you to click. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, below us, you can see some of our most recent uploads. I mean, our most recent upload. <laughs> you can see what public transport we are blown away by. Um, and on the left, some of our other videos. Please subscribe. Just arrived in Korea. First video we made, we figured we'd have to show everybody this incredible underground yeah i think it's reasonable to say the best underground in the world thanks for watching guys see ya in the next video